Hi guys, so this video is just a little bonus video of the week. I just want to like talk to this about you guys to you guys because some of you guys have been commenting on this channel Art and Beauty Freak about it and also on Twitter and also on my mom's channel. Basically my third channel Aria with Ariaville where I post daily, mostly daily videos, mukbangs and vlogs has gotten suspended for no reason at all like they suspended the channel with no warning like they usually will give you three warnings first they just give you one warning second warning you will get suspended for a few months and then third warning that's it then you will get like removed your channel removed so now for my channel it just got suspended so that is like the strike number two it's like that one so it's like strike number two even if i have never gotten a strike on that channel and i saw that before my channel got uh, suspended one of my videos uh, where i was eating like chocolate coins got demonetized because apparently it's not advertiser friendly even though i'm just eating coins you know uh, it's chocolate coins it's candy and I, I have emailed YouTube, I have sent an appeal, I have sent emails to my partnership Ralban TV, I have tweeted them publicly and privately. So I've done everything I can right now and the only thing I can do is wait. And I will put like screenshots of their responses here on the screen so you can see. And YouTube basically I think has some sort of strange bug or something weird going on because tons of channels have been get, getting suspended and i looked on their creator youtube creator twitter account and you can see there their response to people are all about suspended channels basically and people have been like me tweeting them like what is happening to my channel why is it suspended and they will just you know respond back to oh just send in an appeal and then we will try to fix it and then I asked them how long will it take before everything will get fixed and they said that because there's so many people appealing for their suspended channels that it will take a bit longer than expected and I don't know what that means so I don't know how long or if I will ever be able to post on Ariaville and if I'm lucky and I get it back I will never post mukbangs ever again because I think that's a huge reason why uh, I got like issues because mukbang is for some reason too you know out there and extreme and x-rated apparently I don't know uh, because I mean eating food is just so bad because everyone eats food every day I don't know what's wrong with filming it because basically like you just film yourself eat food and then you share it with your viewers there's nothing wrong with that and I don't know what's wrong I don't know YouTube is messed up and I mean, you can see like for the past like maybe a year or two, strange things have been happening on YouTube, and you know, partnerships letting go of their partners, you know, makers. Hello, and uh, you know now there was there's some so many channels have been suspended. This one kid channel he gets suspended, Derv, I think his name is, but he gets suspended because he did tons of bad things like crazy amount of clickbaits and he's a kid but he's like acting like an adult I don't know I don't like his channel either and I was always wondering why his content can be on YouTube so I get that that his channel has been removed but for channels like Ariaville and other people's channels who got suspended who have gotten suspended it makes no sense because on Ariaville I am so family friendly guys like if i even show like the tiniest bit of cleavage i remove it or if my mom says a bad word i bleep it out and i mean i never leave anything bad there i i don't understand like some people on youtube they literally go naked in their videos like full-on naked they don't get any issues at all nothing and there's even ads on their videos so they might even get paid for that and there's you know i i I don't understand why Ariaville because 
it, it, it's just vlogs and mukbangs but I'm really trying to stay as positive as I can because maybe it will come back but I'm not a per positive person guys so I'm not I don't think I will get it back but I mean I should stay positive because sometimes they do come back but I feel like if I get it back it will never be the same I will always be scared that it will get removed or that I, I don't know I feel like it's it's damaged now the channel is like broken because even if it comes back I will never do mukbang so it will not be the same and vlogs I, I don't even know how am I supposed to post daily because I, I'm not that you know exciting to vlog every day so I don't know what will happen and I, I don't even know because this channel Art and Beauty Freak I love this channel and I've had it since 2011 and I'm so happy that nothing happened to this channel because my god I would die uh, I have like we are at 16,000 subs now which thank you guys <laughs> I have not thank you yet but I mean there's a huge difference still for me Arya Villain Art and Beauty Freak because on this channel I post weekly videos and I try to make them you know as as good quality I don't know as, you can, as I can make them and on Aryaville I just post daily and they are like it's like my diary and to get that removed it feels so heartbreaking because I work on it every day like uh, sometimes midnight I edit I wake up early just to edit even though I do homeschool and I almost don't have time for homeschool because of YouTube and like I don't know I work too hard on that channel I feel like I work more I, I do work more on Aryaville than on item beauty freak because I post daily so it, it, that's why it's so hard for me because it's more of a personal channel it's more about me and and you guys and my life and stuff like that so I, I don't understand it and I think I, I don't know why really but maybe it's because of the spam comments I've been getting because on Aryaville I've been getting more and more spam comments and I always just you know approve them because I'm like oh, I mean it's, there's nothing wrong with the comments so I just approve them when they get into my spam box but I, maybe that is making stuff worse I don't know so when from now on when I get something in my sub, spam I will just delete it and if I get hate comments that are maybe too much maybe I will I should also delete those as well but I hate that I have to do that because then I it will be as if I have no haters and that's not true but maybe that's something I should consider if I get my channel back because maybe that is also making things worse I don't know so I'm thinking maybe I should do that too and then another change like I will not do mukbangs just vlogs um, I mean I, I don't know what happened maybe somebody flagged my channel I mean it's not enough for one person to flag a channel it's not enough so that means either more than one did it but even if more than that one did it, I mean I only have 1000 how many subs on that channel so that makes no sense like if 10 people flagged my channel so what I mean there's YouTube has so many creators. Why would they notice 10 people flagging my channel? I don't understand it. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I just wanted to, you know, post a video on this channel to let you guys know uh, about what happened. Because I can't post anything on there telling you guys what happened. So, hopefully my Aryaville viewers are here as well and you can, can see this. And as... I, as a help if you guys can if you guys have like even like a few seconds of time please tweet YouTube I will post all of their YouTube, uh, YouTube Twitter accounts right here you know just spam them with your messages and tell them like why did you remove Aryaville and stuff like that because if you guys write to them they will notice Aryaville more and might you know fix Aryaville first than the rest and I know that's not you know very good for the rest but if you guys are able to do that I would be so so thankful because 
other youtubers ask their viewers to do this and it usually speeds the process up so i really hope you guys can do it just tweet them like a quick message just like uh hi youtube why did you suspend Ariaville? Please get it back or something like that. I don't, I don't know, just anything. Um, and just spam them with that so they will, you know, fix Ariaville, hopefully. Um, yeah, and I have all already, you know, spammed them with my messages. And they have responded, but, you know, it's no help what they said. <laughs> so, hopefully YouTube will get fixed. In the meantime, I don't know how long this will be. But in the meantime, I will just continue to post on item beauty freak and naturally uh, vegan 011 but I really hope I get the channel back if I don't um, I don't know what I will do um, should I post my vlogs on here instead when I did that before you guys didn't like that <laughs> but uh, I mean I have most of my subbies on here so to be if I'm if I should you know think more do you call it logically I don't know to be honest, like, Ariaville doesn't have that many subbies, but it, it has more, like, daily views. Uh, but if I'm going to be more, like, I don't know. I don't know even what to call it. But maybe I should post more on here. I don't know. Uh, if because I want to be able to share my vlogs with you guys especially now that I will go around the world more you know traveling I feel like it's a waste not to vlog it and I'm thinking maybe I should vlog on item beauty freak instead because if I don't get my channel Ariaville back I'm thinking to post just in the meantime my vlogs on here and of course you guys can tell me if you don't want that then I, I I guess I will have to stop doing it but I really hope you guys are okay with posting my vlogs on here at least in the meantime but I won't post mukbangs anymore so I know most of you guys don't want me to do that on Art and Beauty Freak so yeah I will I'm thinking about posting my vlogs on here uh, but I will only vlog on days where I'm doing something like really different so you know don't worry about me posting vlogs and here about my day at home only you know stuff like that I will try to make them more art and beauty freak style uh, so yeah I'm, I'm I'm glad art and beauty freak is still here and I will be more careful with the spam comments and I will not approve them anymore and if I get hate I will delete them so yeah thank you so much guys for you for your support and for your comments on twitter and on this channel as well so yeah maybe we should make a hashtag like get ariaville back or something <laughs> yeah hashtag get ariaville back do that guys on twitter and let's hope youtube will listen anyways thank you for listening to me and Thanks for watching guys please go down below and subscribe to item beauty freak and i know i know <laughs> turn on the post notifications so you know when i upload a new video thanks guys and i would say like go to ariaville as well but uh, anyways you can go to my mom's three channels scorpion scorpion waiting scorpion asmr <laughs> i'm still plugging <laughs> anyways thanks for watching guys and hopefully in the next video, Ariaville is back. I don't know. Adios amigos. Gracias por ver. Hola amigos. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys 10 different fidget spinner tricks that I know. So let's get started.